So today we're taking a look at some pretty cool tech such as the Malifo Curve Light monitor. This has two different lights. You have RGB effect lights that happen on the top. And of course you have your dual light bicolor light that goes from 2600 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin at the bottom. So you can, well, illuminate your workspace. So you're not straining your eyes. Let's take a closer look. All right, again, the Malifo Curve monitor light. It features a wireless remote control light. Awesome. Aviation alloy light body. I assume they're talking about the design and of course, acoustic and colorful backlight. Believe it or not, this light responds to sound. So your RGB lights will respond to it. I wonder if that's only my acoustic. Now nah, it's probably like more like a visual style. Let's get straight into the box. All right, so here we go. Let's open it up. Now I'm gonna be straight up with you. I've been using this for the past two weeks. So I have to rebox this. So here's the gratuitous second unboxing. Let's get closer into it. Uh, first, you've got instructions on how to use the wireless puck, set up your, your light, reset or uh, pair a brand new puck. It's all right here, but we'll go over it into the video, so don't go anywhere. Um, speaking about puck, here is your, this is your wireless puck that controls all of the lighting just from this guy. Uh, twist and turn and all those things. If you want to switch out the battery, all you, want to do, all you would want to do is just press the bottom in, twist it, and it'll pop up so you can actually switch out your battery. Uh, it comes with a battery, but there's also a second battery included with the kit. All right, so let's pop this back in, twist, tighten it, and of course we'll take this off and it has a nice rubber bottom, so this is not going anywhere. So that's the, oh, and it sticks too, all right. Let me just leave it right there to the side. Um, as far as accessories, you get one USB-C to USB-A cable so you can power your light. And here you go. We're going to use this just in a second, obviously. Uh, heads up, you might, depending on where you're going to set up your light, you might want to consider a USB uh, cable extender or maybe a really long cable because you're just going to have to find a power source for it. Right now, since we're at this desk, we're going to use this little power brick uh, to power it for now. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, within my setup on how you can use it so you can get some ideas. All right, so let's get straight to our light. Let's get rid of this box. It was a pleasure. Mr. Box. And voila, there you go. Um, I gotta tell you, this is, it is light, but it's also it's got a solid construction. I mean, it, it's got some good weight to it as well. It's not some light cheap thing uh, for sure, especially all the weight is happening right here so it can actually keep it secure. Uh, the weight is actually on the bot back so it's not gonna fall forward. So just make sure you, you set that up. Uh, and make sure that whatever you're lying this, uh, laying this on, as far as the monitor is con concerned, it's secure, not loose, because this weight will actually bring your monitor down if it's not secured tightly. Uh, more on that later. All right, so let's, uh, let's connect our USB cable to our light and let the light show begin. All right, plug into this light. And there we go. Awesome, as soon as you plug it in, you're good to go. And you can see right now, the light is actually responding to my voice. This is for the, I guess, what is it called again? Sound ambient response, I don't know. Um, but it's responding to the sound of my voice or Kenny or any audio you have going in the background. So if you have music playing in the background, this will move to the beat or the pulse of that music. So cool. And you can see you already have our light on as well. So let's get straight, straight to the actual uh, wireless puck, as I like to call it. Uh, as well. All right. So um, first, if you want to turn it on and off, all you're going to do is just tap it. And now you can see everything just fades to black. You want to turn it back on? You just read it back on. And there you go. Now you can see the RGB light didn't come on. So we'll get into that later. But first, let's focus on the lights uh, on the bottom. Uh, in order to play with the brightness or the dimness of it, just roll it clockwise and you'll actually make it light. If you want to dim it, you want to go counterclockwise and it makes it dim. Okay, now, if you want to switch the color temperature, you're gonna press and hold and then spin a, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm gonna press it in and turn. So you go clockwise for cool, counterclockwise for warm. We'll leave it at warm right now. And of course, we can just play with our brightness. Now, as far as the ambient light is concerned, if you wanna get that going, you wanna tap and hold to turn them back on. So we'll go tap. There you go. So it's a it's a press and then a hold, uh, and it turns on. So there you go. So now we're in RGB mode. Now if I double press, it's gonna cycle through the different settings. So we'll real quick. 
We've got a purple mode for you. Then it goes switches to a red mode. And it switches to a gradient mode. As you can see, it just kind of like radiates the different colors as it goes. Do it again. And then we actually go back to our sound uh, detection system. Now also, you do, I'm not really sure why you'd want to do this. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but you can actually unpair the remote that comes with it. Out of the box, it's paired with this remote. But for some reason you want to unpair this and pair it with a different remote, you can do that. All you want to do is plug this in. You want to plug it out. You want to plug it in, plug it out, plug it in three times really fast. And that way you'll see the light flash three times, then you'll know it's unpaired. So watch this. I'm going to plug it out and we're going to go until we actually see it. Oh. There we go. All right, so now we know it's not paired. So now I can spin it and it's not doing it at all. It's still working on the last setting, such as my voice, but there is nothing that is happening here. It's just, there's nothing happening. Now, if we want to set it, let's plug it back in. All I have to do is just hold this light down and the light will flash, letting you know that it's ready. And then we're connected again, as you can see. Really simple. So let me give you my final thoughts uh, on this and I'll show you what my setup looks like uh, when using this uh, so far. I gotta tell you, even though this is a curved light monitor and I only have flat monitors, this is a really cool piece of kit as far as what it can do. It really does add to like the ambience and, uh, and just, just the mood and the look of the actual my actual setup. I've used this in two places. I've used it inside of my voiceover booth where it's really dark. dark. So this little light does help uh, add to a little, um, um, I guess visibility when I'm reading my copy or, or you know, actually with the RB, RGB accents. Um, and also on my monitor back there as well, really gives a nice cool effect. Now, I wanna mention two things when it comes to this light that I actually came across. Uh, number one, depending on your monitor or your setup, or let's just say specific, specifically even your webcam, this will take up the space of your webcam. You may wanna to try to put your webcam on the top, it may or may not fit, but if you have a webcam on top of your monitor, this is gonna take over that, that space. So if you have two monitors, you may wanna decide on which one you wanna do. Um, you, you may have to make that decision. Uh, secondly, secondly, I mentioned before that the back end is really weighty. Um, yeah, I. There's so much weight, I discovered that on my monitor setup, I, re I really need to tighten the bolts on my monitor setup because this actually brought my, my monitor down and leaning to the front because of the weightiness of the basin itself. So make sure that if you do decide to go in that direction, it is securely tightened so it's not messing with the height adjustment or the angle of your monitor. Um, outside of that, I gotta tell you, I. I'm, a, you know, I, I really appreciate what Malifo is doing here with its curved monitor light, especially with its wireless remote. I mean, that's just come awesome, right? It's like, it's like, boop, I'm in, I'm out, or, you know, and then, oh, I'm in back in. It's really cool. And I also especially love the, the idea that I can actually all right, press and again, there we go. I love the idea. Let me, let me get back to the actual, uh, let's switch it. Nope. I want to get to... We'll leave, it, we'll leave it on gradient. Um, I really like the, the the idea that you have this uh, the RGB lights. And keep in mind, you don't have to use them as a monitor light. I mean, you could just have it like this if you want, just hanging as an accent or something. You can actually just you can actually just leave it on your desk like this, and you still get some kind of cool effect um, from that. You know. I, Obviously, you would want to use the light if you were in a really dark environment and you needed help just kind of seeing because it's not really good to see, uh, you know, I guess reading things in a really dark environment. You need some actual aid, uh, some light itself to actually uh, ease up the strain on your eyes. This helps. But if not, you got this really cool RGB light that you can actually put under your monitor as well or wherever you want to give you really cool RGB effects. All right, guys, uh, this is the Malifo Curve Monitor Light. Really hope this helped you out. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own curve monitor light, even if you don't have a curve monitor. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch more videos coming out. Ding that like button so, well, no, no hit that like button so you can, uh, if you like what's going on here, and also ding that notification so you can, well, be notified for future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.